Manchester United against Everton, Old Trafford on Sunday. That is the next game we've got in the Premier League. After drawing away at Stoke, it was a disappointing draw because I feel we could have had three points if our defence was just a little bit better. But we followed that up with a 3-0 win over FC Basel in the Champions League. But we've so far, we've had West Ham at home this season, Swansea away, Leicester at home and Stoke away. The hardest game so far is certainly a new look Everton team who have spent big this summer, who have got Wayne Rooney in their team, who are doing okay this season. It's going to be our toughest game. Romelu Lukaku playing against his former club. Lots to discuss in the big match preview. Let's get straight to it. But before we get into it, thank you Ladbrook for backing United People's TV for the full season. As always, you can bet £5, get £20 in free bets. Amazing. As there's going to be a link in the description with a little code just for United People's TV followers. So make sure you go there, it's unique for you. I'm going to bag on, I said Lukaku to get a hat-trick against Stoke. So that didn't really work out, but I'm definitely going to bet on Lukaku to score against his former team, Everton, on Sunday. So how have Man United and Everton been playing going into this game? If you look at United's recent results, United are in great form this season. We won against Basel, we may have drawn against Stoke, but three wins on the bounce before that in the Premier League. We've only conceded two goals in the Premier League, both away at Stoke, three clean sheets. Was it 12 goals scored? Man United to start the season in red hot form. We were a little bit limp against Stoke though. Let's be honest, Stoke away is always a tough game. I predicted a stomping 3-0 win. Shows how much I know. I really should have realised, and I did know before the game, but Stoke away is never an easy match. I was just so confident about how Man United were playing that we could overcome Stoke. We didn't because our defence was poor. Phil Jones and Eric Bailly, both culpable for the goals. That's as simple as that. If our defence was as good as it was against Swansea, Leicester and West Ham, we would have won last weekend. It wasn't, so we didn't. But a draw is still not the worst result. But if you look at Everton's results prior to that Tottenham game, they lost against Chelsea, they drew against Hadrick Split, drew against City. Good result, but they probably could have got the three points there. Beat Hadrick Split in the first leg and they beat Stoke. A very mixed bag of results and certain players have been playing very well for Everton. Certain players have been underperforming. But there's only one player we're really going to talk about leading into this game, really, isn't it? Wayne Rooney. Will Wayne Rooney come to Manchester United, score at Old Trafford and celebrate? I think if he scores, he will celebrate and I think he's got every right to. He spent a decade plus at the club, left as our top goal scorer. Everton's his boyhood club, he's gone back to the club he joined Manchester United from. I would not hold anything against Rooney if he celebrates against us and I do expect him to have a blinder. To an extent, because Rooney always takes time to get back and fit again, but I knew that he would score important goals for Everton this year, but I knew it was the right time for him to leave. I think he'll get a great reception from the crowd at Old Trafford, and I think he deserves that. You can't leave a club as your record goal scorer and then not get a round of applause when you come back. But how are Manchester United going to play against Everton? Do we have any issues going into the game? We've certainly got one issue. Paul Pogba. He is injured. He is going to miss at least four to six weeks of football. That could be eight fixtures, including Everton at home and Liverpool away. One of our biggest games, if not the biggest game of the season. Who's going to play in central midfield instead of Paul Pogba? I think it's probably going to be Mario and Fellaini. I would much rather it be Ander Herrera. And we've also got Michael Carrick as an option, but who would you play alongside Nemanja Matic? Would you switch to Nemanja Matic on his own in midfield with two central midfielders in front of him? Maybe Jose Mourinho will switch it up. But Fellaini played so well against Basel that I do expect to see him play against Everton. And at home, something I really want to see Man United do, and something we haven't done this season, get an early goal. Because we have had some dominance in games, but Man United's goals have been coming relatively late. Late in the first half or in the second half. Most of our goals have come in the second half so far this season. And against Basel, we were in control. We didn't score early. I want to see an early goal, first 15 minutes against Everton, then pin them back. Start playing with a high aggressive defence. Start sending balls in over the top. Get Shaw, get Blind, get Darwin, whoever it is on the left back. Get Valencia, get Young, whoever's playing fullback, get them overlapping. Play with a high line. Don't let Everton control any part of the game. This is Man United at home at Old Trafford. We, we need to get that fear factor back. And to do that, early goals change games. And they change how a team has to set up. If we let Everton sit deep and stay at 0-0 until they maybe can score first, it will change the whole complexion of the game. Man United have been controlling matches. We haven't been scoring early enough for me. That's one thing I really want to see change against Everton. But what's my prediction of the game? 
Let's stay positive, let's stay confident. I'm gonna say Man United will get that early goal and Man United will hold onto that and go for a 2-0 win with a second later goal by Romelu Lukaku. He's gonna get both of them, two for Lukaku, why not? As I said, bet five, get 20 pounds free with Ladbrokes. Let's bet on Lukaku to get a brace this time. I said a hat-trick against Stoke, it didn't really work out. Let's hope I get this one right. But how are you feeling ahead of this game? This is the big match preview on United People's TV for Manchester United against Everton. Get your predictions in the comments below. As always, please subscribe to United People's TV if you're new to the channel. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.